And welcome back to another episode of uh, Don't Starve. I'm going to be running around trying to find Flint. Oh, look at that. Just what a guy. I go and find some flint. I'm going to turn these into uh, mining tools, I think. I think that's the way I'm going to do this. And then my plan is to go to uh, the area next to the beefalo, I think, and then start up our permanent base, which is exciting. Right, so I want to be over here, so let's go northeast. Cool. So I'm just going to leg it in this direction. I oh, funny I knew that, that went in my way. What is this? Maxwell's door? What is that? That's something I'm not going to push yet. <laughs> that feels like that might kill me. So we'll leave that for now. Right, here we go. Tools. Yeah, let's have a pickaxe, please. Let's break down this rock. Oh, look at that. More thin rocks. Ah, Flint. I do know that gold. Killer bees. You do a nice little trail. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> they're fighting the pigs. Oh my god, my food is so low. Right, I think I'm losing... Okay, no, I'm not losing health, it's just telling me I'm low. I will need to be careful now. Let's head along the path, which will be nice and fast for us. Boards, that's worth knowing. And then, as we hit this border between... Here we go. Got some jackrabbits, I've got beefalo, I've got loads of trees over here. This is a great place. Got some rocks. So I think it's the rocks, isn't it, that I need for the permanent campfire? Yeah, two logs and then some rocks. I do want to find a rock with gold in it shortly. Oh, let's eat some food. Okay, that'll do. Just want to immediately die. There's rock there, rock there. Is there a golden rock knocking around? That'll be a rock with some gold in it. Might use the, I might get the gold next time. Because it is less important to me, really. I'll build that. Because we probably want to drop other stuff. <coughs> okay. Right, I can't really do anything at the moment, so it's nothing. Ooh. The more petals I can have something to soothe the nerves. Right. So let's drop these. Those will do. Let's get an axe. X 
this and I need to oh, my axe. Right, I think actually that should be enough. Let's build that and let's put it here on the edge. Look at that. What a day. Right, we now have the beginnings of our permanent base. So the next steps are to do with setting up that making, um, I guess a science machine is the important thing next, right? So the thing which I'm really interested in is using that to unlock the rest of the things I can do in the game. So I'm just going to get my hunger and health up by cooking and eating all the crap I have. I can use this fuel as well, okay. So we'll try just eating these. Not doing too much to my hunger, but they are increasing my health. Uh, so this has been left there. Let's toast and eat those two. Okay, well that's not a terrible situation to be in. <coughs> so I think we're going to be... Okay, we're doing this. And what do I need for the science machine? So I need three more rocks and a bit of gold. So let's see if I can spot, I think that there, right. That's my next, next day is running up there, collecting the gold, coming back. And then I'll start restoring my, my world here. And I can start filling in some of these gaps as well. That's a huge gap, isn't it? There's probably loads of resources knocking around in here. So that's really good. I'm well chuffed with that as a uh, as a continuation to our series. We now have a permanent base camp, and uh, we're gonna go from here. Science machine, and then the sky's the limit. We're gonna unlock all of our technologies and get some awesome things and some weapons and that kind of stuff. I think that might be the way forwards. So three more grass gives me enough for a grass suit. Okay. And that is it for today. We're going to start day 10 the next time. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys to it. And until I see you next time, remember, don't starve.